All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, you remember last video we did the baseline setup uh, in order to install uh, Flare VM tools, which we are going to be doing today. So as of right now, I want you guys to shut down your virtual machine, right? Just shut it down. I'm gonna go over some settings that we need to do uh, on VirtualBox. All right, so click setting. Make sure you have this selected. See how it's highlighted blue? And then click setting. And then go to system. And then go to processor. If you guys want to make your virtual machine a little bit faster, I recommend bumping it up to two. If you, if you want to do more, I don't recommend doing that unless you want to go all out and go crazy like that. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to pump, bump it up to two. Acceleration, leave that. Motherboard, leave that. And then go to display. And then go enable 3D acceleration, right? And then drag this all the way to the right where it says 256. Remote display recording, leave that. So we have those two settings. So we have storage, leave that. Audio, leave that. Network, remember uh, what I said about network. Later on, we're gonna have to enable it to host only. That's basically saying we have no connection. We have no Wi-Fi connection. Because once we detonate malware, we're not gonna, uh, the malware's not gonna go uh, onto our actual host it won't have any chance of doing anything bad to us so we're gonna have to contain it so let's go back up click ok make sure everything is saved and then let's start it up again all right let me just click this yeah get that out of the way all right just let it start up Let me see that's the right size yeah and by the way once you have your virtual machine open you cannot edit your settings see let me show you yeah I can't change anything it's stuck there so yeah that's something new you guys probably learned today I don't know some of you probably already knew that well, let's keep going All right, there we go. Yeah, it's running smoother. There's no uh, lag in it or choppiness. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's kind of weird. If you guys see that on the bottom, see my taskbar? It's not supposed to look like that, but let's ignore that for now. It's probably a glitch. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to install the Chrome browser. No way. There is no way I'm using a Microsoft Edge browser. We're going to have to install Chrome. And then just let that load. All right. Open up a new tab. Oh my God, this is why I hate this browser. Continue without data. Get out of here, get out of your guess. Confirm, start browsing. All right, go away, go away. All right, type Chrome, download for Windows 10. All right, uh, scroll down, just click the first one. Loading, loading. Get rid of that, download Chrome. That's what I usually do whenever I get a virtual machine. When it's like a Windows 10 virtual machine, that's what I mean. I usually download Chrome first. Press yes. Oh, I gotta disable the sound. Wait, I disabled the sound. How could I still hear that? You guys heard it too, right? Interesting, I don't know. Okay, just give it a bit. Let me see if I can refresh. Oh, it doesn't work. Alright. Installing. Alright, 
Oh, by the way, when we install Flare VM tools, it's going to take like two to three hours, just a heads up. So make sure you have enough time to do that because we're downloading so many things. I got to make sure we have the GitHub link in the description so you guys can follow along. All right. Now that's loaded. Yes, we got the best browser in the world. All right, just open up a new tab and type in Flare VM GitHub. That's it. And then it says Mandiant slash Flare VM. Open it. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. So the requirements are we need to at least have a .NET 4.5, WMF 5.1. I'm pretty sure we have that, so we don't need to worry about that. Scroll down. See, 60, uh, you remember the requirements I told you? We said two gigabyte RAM, 60 uh, gigabyte hard drive. I didn't say two gigabyte, I said four, but we want to go above that because you cannot survive with two gigabytes <laughs> of uh, RAM on this thing. Also, it's going to be really slow. All right, the first thing we need to do is... Uh, we did this stuff. We did this step, right? We did this part, so don't worry about it. Go to the installation step and then download and copy this one. Click on it. Oh, wrong button. Go back, go back. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Sorry. I thought it would download, but it doesn't do that. Give it a bit. All right, scroll back down. Uh, right here, right click it and do save link as. And then uh, let's save it on our desktop. Make a new folder. Let's make a new folder right here on our desktop. Just right click in there and then new folder. Let's name it uh, Flare, just name it that. Right, and then go inside that Flare folder and then save it there. All right, so it's a PowerShell script we are uh, trying to execute. So as of right now, let's see what else we have to do. Okay, so go to your Flare script. Watch, I'm gonna show you something cool. And then click file, right? And then go down, it says open Windows PowerShell and then do open Power, Windows PowerShell as administrator. That's a cool trick on how to go there fast. Click yes. I didn't know that. When I figured that out, my life was so much easier. I didn't have to move directories. All right, let that kick in and then uh, let's see what we have to do. Go back and it says open PowerShell as administrator check. We already downloaded the PowerShell. First, we want to unblock the install file by running this. Okay, let's unblock it, right? Paste that in there. Click enter. That's good. Next one, set execution policy unrestricted. Copy that. Check. Let that load. Click yes. All right, that's good. And then it says, okay, this is the moment of truth. This is where our computer is going to take three hours to download this. So guys, remember the virtual machine password that you guys have, right? For Windows, when you log on, make sure you memorize that. You guys need to memorize that. Hopefully you guys will memorize that password because it's going to tell us to enter a, a password, right? For what we use to log into our Windows account. So let me show you what I mean. I grab that script, put it in here. Three, two, one, go. Okay, wait for it. Okay, it's telling us to enter in a password. So when you lo lo log on to your Windows computer, pretend my password is like password123, right? I have to put that password inside that terminal right now. I'm trying to repeat this because I don't want anyone to get confused. So the password to my thing is, uh, okay, I'm not going to say my password, but you know your password, so put it in here for your Windows account. So I'm going to enter in my password. And then press enter. Let this kick in. I'm definitely going to cut the video here because nobody wants to wait three hours for me to download this. But let's just continue on. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let that install. I'm going to run it a little bit just to show you what it looks like. Don't worry about any error message messages that you get. We're going to like push through it because uh this thing is pretty good when installing flare vm it doesn't usually fail us 
but there's some tools that usually go missing so at the end of the install i'm going to show you what tools you need to install either in part five or in this video depending on like what happens but this takes forever so i'm going to cut the video here i'll get back to you guys later if i find anything interesting like any uh, messages uh, that you guys need to know about I'm gonna record it tell you guys what, what it is about and then uh, yeah go from there but right now let everything kick in oh one more thing if something is like stuck like right here you see how my uh, terminal is stuck on this right right just press enter or space right and it would kick the like command it would make it move the terminal will start moving but right now uh, just let everything do its thing all right, guys, I want to tell you guys about one more thing. If you see this error message right here, ignore it. We already did this step, so you don't need to worry about anything. Another thing is that if your virtual me machine starts to restart or like reboot, that's normal. Do not worry about it. Do not freak out. Don't go crazy. You know, nothing uh, went wrong. That's just a part of the process because it needs to install all these scripts, all this crap. You know what I mean? But so let it restart. Uh, one more thing. See how my thing is stuck here? Just press enter or space. See how it just moved a little bit? Just give it a little, you know, a boost. That's what it needs. Sometimes it may not work. Sometimes it will work depending on the situation. But that's all I got to say. I'll meet you guys at another part. All right, guys, I'm back. If your screen looks like this, like I said, don't freak out. It's normal. It actually looks better than last time for some reason. I don't know why. That's just my opinion, but like I said, keep pushing forward. I'm still going to be doing these uh, checkpoints just to show you like what it looks like, like the progress of it. But yeah, this is going to take a while, like I said. So, you know, just be patient. Just relax. All right, what's going on, guys? We are finally done after waiting three hours, like exactly three hours. We are finished. Uh, once you're finished, you're going to get a message. You're going to get a message that says type enter to exit. So what you're gonna do is just press enter, you're done. And okay, we're not actually done yet. We need to make sure that uh, these following tools are on our system. FakeNet, HashMyFiles, RegShot, and Ghidra. So let's make sure they're installed. So let's see, let's go to FakeNet logs. We already have fa uh, FakeNet.exe, so FakeNet is already installed, that's good. HashMyFiles, we need to make sure HashMyFiles is installed. So let's, first thing you wanna do is go to, um, Hold up, this is kind of messy. Let's right click, okay, right click the bottom of your screen right here where you see the screen, right? And uh, put, go to search and put show search box, right? Let's have that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna have, uh, let's hold up, is it working? No, it's not working. Let me go back and then do a show search icon. Okay, yeah, I would probably just do that. Yeah, cause the last one, I don't know why it's not working. So, do file explorer and then uh let's see what else we have we can go to desktop flare right here so here are the tools basically the tools are utilities go here and then you see a bunch of tools these are the crazy stuff right here all the tools right here all the good stuff so we need to make sure that we have it so let me exit out let's click uh let's check hash my files hash my files okay we don't have hash my files but we do have hash calc this it's the same thing it's honestly the same thing you don't you don't need anything else but this one it's the same thing yeah it's it we don't need we don't need that but if you want to install it i'll put this in the link of the description you can download it uh if you want and then we have we need a uh, reg shot let's see if we have reg shot reg shot yes we have reg shot we have reg shot that's good that's a pain in the butt to install and then we need ghidra let's see ghidra do we have ghidra Oh, we do not have Ghidra. Okay. So let's install two things. Okay. Do I have my Chrome? Let's put Chrome pin to the taskbar. Make sure you click that and open it. Just open it up. Wait for it to load. Let's copy. Let's download hash my files. I'll put this in the link of the, of the description. Don't worry about it. Good thing it was only two apps that we needed to install. Is it copying? From my host let me see okay let's go to let's see why we go to devices and we do dragon no no we got a shared clipboard and we do bi-directional and then go back go to drag and drop and do bi-directional that basically means you can copy and paste 
but it it'll probably won't allow me to do it right now. So let's see, does it do it? There you go, okay. If it doesn't work, then you might have to restart your virtual machine. Okay, we're right here. Scroll all the way down, all the way down. All the way, all the way, all the way until you see. We don't really need uh, hash my files, but I'm downloading it because it, it probably looks better than hash calc. Keep scrolling down right here until you see download hash my files for 64 bit system. Click it and then you can just put it right here. Uh, let's see. Extract here. Let's see, destination folder already contains. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My bad, my bad, my bad. We need to make a folder, we need to make a folder. Let's make a folder. Because I thought it would make its own folder. Let's call, it, let's call it hash my files. And then put this in here. Open it up. And then extract, that's why I got that error. Make sure you put it in a good spot. Okay, there we go. So this is right. Uh, this is the app right here. Hash my files. Click it, and then you just dra drag and drop. Let's drag and drop this hash file right here. MD5 SHA1, right here. All that good stuff. All right, exit out of that. All right. Uh, as of right now, we have all the tools that we need. So we got hash my files. We got everything. That's pretty much it. So as of right now, we have to create a snapshot. Okay, we're gonna have to create a snapshot. Everything went smoothly. If it does, if it didn't go smoothly, do not create a snapshot yet. First, report your error, make sure it gets fixed, and then create another snapshot. Create a checkpoint. So go over here, press take snapshot. We have everything. We have reg shot, we have fake net, and we have the ha hash my files. We got the three uh, main things we were looking for. So let's uh, put, so let's, what do we name it? Let's just name it flare. Just name it flare VM snapshot. That's it. Uh, let me, all right, and then just click okay. Let that load. It takes a while, I don't know why. 22 seconds, feels like forever. But once we have this, we can go on to the next part, which is static analysis, static malware analysis. And that's where we begin the fun part. All right, now that we have that, you could safely just shut down the... Hold on, let me see one second. I don't know why it's not letting me shut down. If you want, you can shut down and then relax or you can just continue to the next part, up to you. But right now I'm gonna shut it down and then I'm gonna make the next part. I'll open it back up, don't worry about it. So take care and peace.